Okay guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a miniature dartboard cabinet. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to my website and download the template. And then once you have all of the pieces off of the template cut, then you're going to have to go ahead and start gluing them together like this. Alright, I actually took the um, front door cabinet and I cut it out of thinner wood and glued, well I'm going to glue it together. So what you want to do is put a little bit of glue on it. If you cut it out of the thinner wood, I didn't want the front to be quite as um, thick, but it doesn't matter. It can be. All right, so you want to go ahead and glue that there. I also sanded the edges to a bevel. So once you have all the glue where you need it to be and everything and you have it beveled, then just make sure it's squared up on the table. Set it to the side and do the same thing to the opposite door. It always helps when you get the glue to come out. Now this is a part where if you wanted to do the duct tape hinge, you would put the duct tape hinge in between before you would do that. All right, so now you're gonna let that sit there and dry. Now you're gonna take the back and you're gonna line it with some glue right along that edge, along with the sides, the bottom, Okay, it's an grain, so you want to use a little bit more glue. And you want to glue this here. Just like that. Put a little bit of glue on the edges of your wood where it meets. So that it sticks to the top. You want to make sure it's square. Now, I'm just using popsicle sticks for my wood, so they're not exact. Um, but I did sand them, so hopefully that will make it better. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and attach this piece. Square it all up, and then I'm gonna fill it, back fill it with some glue. Okay, so once you backfill the edges with glue, go ahead and let that dry. And then what you want to do is clamp your doors if you're using the duct tape hinge so that the glue will dry in between and it will dry securely. Okay, so if you're doing the duct tape hinge, what you did is you put it between the wood so you don't see it and now you've taped it on the outside. So if you've done that, then you need to take the additional pieces and you need to glue them right here. You want to cut this off right in the middle or close to the edge so that that's not seen. Add some glue all along here. Make sure it's nice and secure. Then take your additional piece and glue it right on top. That way you don't see that hinge all but the little bit there. Alright, now you're going to repeat the process for the, same, the other side. Okay, so once you have your hinges attached, put some tape on there to hold it until that dries. And then the next step is going to be to glue your top arch on there. So you want to apply glue to 
the top and both the sides for this. And then it's going to fit right up in here as long as you cut it correctly. It should be a nice snug fit. Make sure you have it even with the front. off the excess glue your dartboard you'll glue into the back of here and then your doors will be here now for the hinges you can use the duct tape hinge or you can just go ahead and use regular miniature hinges and just apply them with some epoxy they sell them on Amazon you can buy like tons of bags of them and for the um, knobs you can use the actual nails that come with them okay so you want to pre-drill your hole and then you want to lightly tap it in and then you'll have a knob Okay, so after you have them on there and you have them where you want them, cut the backs off and then poke them back through just a little bit so that it's not that sharp edge standing outward. And then that should make it even. And then you can remove your tape once everything is pretty much dry and secure. And then you'll have a dartboard closet. Now if you use the metal hinges, the miniature ones I just showed you in the bags, you won't have such floppy doors. But since I'm going to make mine stay open and I'm going to add like some details over here, I didn't really care about that. And you can add a thin piece of gold here as well just to kind of hide that white if you want. And you can do skinnier pieces of the gold duct tape if you like. That way it looks more like a hinge. But then we'll just glue the dartboard there. We'll have some darts over here. Scoreboard maybe over here. And we'll be ready to play. Thanks a lot for watching. And follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com and on Facebook as well. And if you like to look at lots of pens on Pinterest, I have been penning like crazy because I love Pinterest. And I have lots of dollhouse boards from other creators. So check that out. That's under Laurie Holden Heisler. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Leave a comment, question, or suggestion. And we'll be back. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.